So today we're going to talk about researching. So looking at classroom, you have a presentation or you can watch this video about researching and the directions and questions. And then you also have an artist research outline. This is edible. I have one for each of you and you can just click on it and start writing on it when you find your questions. Remember, you are working with the artist that you se selected yesterday. So let's look at the presentation. So the parts of the research that we talked about yesterday is the context, which is information about the artist, the content, which is information about their art, including subjects, mood, what they're communicating, and technical, which is information about how they make their art. So how to research, and I will show you an example of this. You start with the search engine like Google, type in your artist's name, and then look at the results. If they have a Wikipedia entry, that's a good place to start. And to work with Wikipedia, you read through it, read their basic information, but don't stop there. At the end of every Wikipedia page, there are citations and bibliography, and those have links to take you to other places to find out more things. Also, don't forget to look at your other search engine, you know, findings and read some of those but you have to read it and you have to make sure it's talking about your artist, okay? And because the page you land on might start by talking about somebody else and then later on talk about your artist. So make sure you're not mixing up your information. Use more than one of these pages for reference and do not copy and paste information. I run everything through checkers and I will find out you will have a zero and I will fuss at you and nobody enjoys that. Don't be lazy. So the questions for your context, who is your artist, their name? Some artists have two names. They might have a name they work under and then a regular name. Some artists only have a name they work under and nobody knows their real name. When did they live? Again, this is their lifespan. When did they work? This is different from when they lived. Nobody is born making art, okay? You have to do that later on in life and write that down. If they're still working, you just put the first date and then a dash. Where did they study? Where did they learn to make art? Was it with somebody? Are they self-taught? Did they go to a school? Where do they live? What does their studio look like? And what events are important to them? Part two is content, what the art is about. So what type of subjects are in the artist's work? What themes does the artist use? What is the mood of the artwork? What is the artist communicating in their art? What is it about? And how does the artist's context influence their art? That means how do the events influence their art, historical events? How does where they live influence their art? People who live in different countries make art in different ways. It could be because of the local aesthetic. It could be because of the materials they have access to or the way they're trained. Or it could be because the government restricts certain kinds of art. Part three is technical, how they make art. So what type of art do they make? Paintings, drawings, sculptures, what? What type of materials do they use? And what style are they classified as? So your assignment for today is to research these things and fill them out on that attached document. Do not copy and paste, write it in your own words. And then you will be able, if you get this done, Friday will be easy because you can just copy it off of your document and onto your presentation. 
Okay, so let's look at that document. And all you do is put your answers in. It's already shared with me, so you don't need to share it. And they're the same answers that were on the slides. So context again, who your artist is, when they lived, when they worked, where they studied, where they lived, what their studio looks like, what events are important to them. And I have this on here twice, so I will get rid of that right now. Boom, fixed. When you find a mistake, fix your mistake. Don't wait. Content, what does your artist make art about? The subjects, the themes, the mood, what are they communicating? And how does their context, all of this stuff, influence their art? Technical, how does your artist make art? What type of art do they make? What materials do they use? And what style are they classified as? So let's give this a go. I'm going to open up my search engine. I'm searching for Faith Ringgold. Okay. And I start off, here is a Wikipedia article. Um, it is on her. She, I know right away she's an American painter, writer, mixed media sculptor, and performance artist. So when I click on the Wikipedia article, I find out some ideas about her early life. I can see right away that her mother was a fashion designer and her father was a storyteller. And she lived in Harlem in New York in the time of the Harlem Renaissance. Oh, that's cool. Okay. And she went at the City College of New York to major in art, but forced to major in education again, as women only could do certain things. That's also important. But she also studied with some famous artists. And you go down, it talks about her artwork. And Wikipedia, remember, every time you see something that's highlighted, you can click on that and a little information will pop up about whatever that is. And then if you, that's just with hovering over it. If you click on it, it will take you to that page. Her quilts which is what she's known for. And it talks about that. It talks about her sculpture and performance art and her publications, because she's also an author, her activism, because, and this would fall into what events influenced her. So she was very active in equal rights movement, um, feminism, anti-racist things. What she did in her later life, she became a professor. And some other information and her notable works and where they're stored in her publications. And then when you go down here to the bottom, the see also link you to more information about certain aspects that were relevant to her. But down here, there is the treasures of other references and you can click on these to go to the different places. Oops, it's blocked here at school for some reason. Don't know why. If you're at home, that won't happen. Okay. For the reading, external links, there's a blog and this will tell you more. If I go back to that very first search page, I also have, this is her website, a biography, and other sources. But you have to click on these and read them. Don't just look at the little lines. You have to, okay, if I'm going to her website, here it is. I have to actually look around. There's some of her artwork. Here's some videos. I could watch some videos about her. I could learn more about her. This is somebody that I actually had a workshop with and I actually met her at one time. About faith, awards and honors, press kit, contact, etc. Okay? That's how you research.